This is Matthews 25 and 34. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye blessed of my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the, of the world. For I was a hungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee and hungered, and, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw thee a stranger, we thee a stranger, and took thee in? or naked and clothed thee, or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee. So like you. Or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee. And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Rakak with us. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstones. Salutation to you. I can push in this word with true sincerity, with charity, present your bodies a living sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. So, I just want to go into this lesson, okay? And I want to call it the way we feed the Lord is by feeding you, okay? By the way we feed the Lord is by feeding you, okay? <laughs> because, um, um, let me get another scripture. This is Acts 17 and 24. Yahweh made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is power of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Neither is worship with men's hands, and as though he needed anything, seeing he giveth to all life and breath and all things. All right. So Yahweh Shemir doesn't need anything. All right. <laughs> he created everything for his pleasure, man. All right. You know, let me get another scripture. Um, right. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to go down. Uh, Matthew 25 and 32. All the nations will be gathered before him. He will separate them one from another as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. And he will set the sheep on his right hand and the goats on his left on the left. And the king will say to the to those on his right hand, Come ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came unto me. And the righteous answered him. Um, yeah, I just read this one. Um, I was trying to read further down. Uh, Salakia. Salakia, this is what I was where I was supposed to be. This is uh, Psalms 50 and 7. Hear, O my people, and I will speak, O Israel, and I will testify against thee. I am Yahweh, even thy power. I will not reprove thee for thy sacrifices or thy burnt offerings to have been continually before me. I will take no bullock out of thy house, nor he goats out of thy folds. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. I know all the fowls of the mountains, and the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell thee. For the world is mine and the fullness thereof. Right. <laughs> and the Lord is being very um, uh, facetious in this uh, statement. <laughs> if I if I was hungry, but we both know that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, he don't get hungry, man. <laughs> he he's he's beyond uh, such mortal trappings. You know what I mean? That's something for us down here. If I were hungry, I would not tell thee, for the world is mine and the fullness thereof. I, will I eat the f like, will I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Right. So those carnal things, they're nothing to Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, man. All right, man. 
Yahweh, Yahweh is not crawling to no man like Esau. Can I get some of that red pottage? Ooh, even though it's not dumb, so long, I'm going to die. Nah, that's not, <laughs> no, you know. <laughs> you know, that's something that happens to men and, and women and children, mortals on the earth, you know. You know, but how do we feed y'all by Shemiyansha? You know, in, in a metaphorical sense, that's the only way it could happen is metaphorically, you know, and that's um, through feeding his uh, sheep, you know, through clothing his sheep. You know, the, the things we do unto his sheep, we do unto him. And the, and the, and the scriptures that prove that, hold on. All right, and this is the account of um, when uh, Yahweh Shai came to uh, the Apostle Paul, which um, at that time his name was Saul, okay? This is Acts 9 and 4. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard. And he said, what, Salaki? That, yeah, 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 I got ahead of myself. So like, Acts 9 and 4. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Right? That's pretty much really all I need out of that. Because that shows you the way um, you persecute the Lord is by persecuting his people, which is, you know, persecuting his church. You know, persecuting his church is persecuting his... um elect all right so the things you do unto the elect you do unto the lord this is just a scripture to uh you know substantiate that all right and he said who art thou lord all right and now you can go on you know you go on and uh read this you know this is when the lord basically um you know visited them and then um you know knocked them off his high horse so to speak you know no, if that's what he was writing, no. But um, you know, and it's just to show you that what you do to uh, the body of Yahweh Shah, you do to Yahweh Shah himself, man. Uh, scripture talk about oh, we're not discerning the body. You know, those that are eat unworthily of this sacrifice, man, because you know we are spiritually eating of that um um that hidden manna the bread Yahweh Shah is the hidden manna okay all right he's the living waters as well you know scripture talk about how we uh drank of that spiritual drink uh we ate of that spiritual uh meat you know in the wilderness uh roughly paraphrasing you know and spiritually we're doing that now you know, so yeah, what we do to the brethren, you know, is uh, how we treat Yahweh Bashem Yahashah. You know, that's why Yahweh Shah said, if you love what he said, uh, let me get it. All right, this is John 21 and 15. So when they had denied deny Yahweh Shah, to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? So, like, so when they had dined, Yahweh Shai said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. He said unto him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, Lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest that all things, thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh shall say unto him, Feed my sheep. Right. So he basically drove it home, man. You know, three times he said it, you know, to, to drive it home, man. You know, the importance of feeding the sheep 
in feeding the sheep the proper proper doctrine, man. You know, and not just even just teaching this word, but actually teaching by example to the best of our ability, teaching by example, leaving the leading a life conducive of what we're reading to where we, we become an epistle ourselves, to where they could look at our chaste conversation and our, our, our chaste conduct and see what they're reading, right? As they say in the world, poetry in motion, right? You know. But yeah, man, that's just a little lesson I wanted to do. Hope there was some edification within it, inshallah.